everybody, and welcome to Mike Nurichlo Online, sharing my love for people, wine, well, okay, in this case, beer, <laughs> food, and all things made passionately. All right, this episode, Christmas just around the corner, you get all those kind of cool deals out on the shelves at liquor stores, they got all these glasses and fancy openers and gifts and stuff like that, hot time of year. Also a neat time of year that a lot of um, producers release some limited edition stuff, or stuff that's kind of, what's the, what do they call it? Limited release. So today, I found this beer. I got a few friends at the big liquor store around the corner from here uh, who work there, and they, when I walk in the store, Mike, Mike, Mike. This is a shout out to uh, Henning, David, Jim, anybody down there, Steve. Mike, Mike, you gotta, you've gotta try this. Of course, that's what they're saying about this beer. Super stoked to try this beer out. Hope it doesn't disappoint, um, just based on what they've all said about it. So I'm gonna get right into it. It is the Granville Island Brewing, Granville Island Brewing, for the, those of you locals, Granville Island, local place in Vancouver. Okay, you're from Vancouver, you know Granville Island. If you're ever in Vancouver or visiting Vancouver, make sure you go to Granville Island. Cool little place, super chill. They've got, they've got neat, neat markets and neat little stores. The ocean's right there and marinas and just a great spot to stop. Great brewery right there too. So Granville Island Brewing, this is their limited release. They're calling it their Imperial, Imperial Chocolate Stout. <laughs> there you go. Um, Co-done with Rogers Chocolates. Okay, I'm just gonna, I gotta read this for you just cause, I mean, everybody who is so excited about this bottle said you gotta try it, so. Our limited release beers combine innovative brewing with all natural ingredients created locally at our small batch brewery on Gravel Island for all those who appreciate unique, extraordinary beer. See, the hype is just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Our Imperial Chocolate Stout is rich and warming. Okay, Christmas around the corner, rich and warming is a beautiful thing. A perfect complement to Vancouver's cold winter nights. It is brewed with four different malts, hops from the Pacific Northwest, and organic fair trade chocolate from Rogers Chocolates. This beer's dark chocolate coloring and aromas, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Goes on. Stemless glass today. You know, wine glasses are still great for doing beer in. Beer has so much aroma, all those things to it. You pour a little bit different, but still has so much to offer, so much character in these bottles as well. All right, you can tell it's a chocolate stout. It's got that dark, cannot see through it. Brown, almost black. Looks like black chocolate coloring. Actually, when I hold it up in the light here, I don't know if you guys can see that. When you hold it up in the right, it's got this really cool, I'm right out of the camera, aren't I? I'm sorry, I'm just enthralled with this beer. Um, really neat kind of reddish hue to it too, in the light. So if you get some hold of the light. Limited release, hard to find. I'm gonna get right into it. Okay, right away. Tons of malt, <laughs> like that frosted malt you can get, or Wendy's malt, or whatever. Tons of malt, tons of dark chocolate. I need a bit of spice to it, too. Hmm. I wonder they're calling it a chocolate stout. Wow. Okay, that is a rich beer. Hmm. Okay, super smooth, super creamy. Like, am I out of the camera again? <laughs> In the camera. Super smooth, super creamy. One of the creamiest beers I've probably ever had. I have to say that, so creamy. You know what this reminds me of? It is full on like dark chocolate milk or hot chocolate. It is. There's so much chocolate. Now, it, what's nice is it doesn't taste like artificial chocolate. It definitely tastes like rich chocolate. Rich malt and chocolate. There's really not a whole lot more to say about this beer. It is definitely a chocolate stout. Very creamy. I mean, how can I push this? Take your coffee cream, your 18% coffee cream, and add Nestle Quick to it. And then dump a little bit of stout in it. That is exactly what you're tasting. Rich, creamy, dark chocolate stout. Sorry, I'm just emphasizing chocolate and cream. 
Um, nice beer though. I like it. Can't say it's the best stout that I've had. It's could have a bit more character to it. Again, I really like it. Very drinkable. This would be so nice in a cool winter evening. Wow, is that creamy. Wow. Well done, Granville Island. I think you've done a very nice job. Perfect Christmas beer. You can have this as a Christmas morning beer even. Crazy. Actually, hint of kind of coffee to it as well. Now that it's just kind of layering. Coffee on the finish for sure. <laughs> creamy chocolate. Stout. A hint of coffee or espresso on the finish. <laughs> Not a bad price. It's like four bucks or something for one of those bottles. Three or four bucks. Worthwhile buy. If you can find it, check it out. You will enjoy it. Thank you again for watching today. I would say beer depretentiousized, but beer's kind of accomplished that on its own. So wine depretentiousized with some beer along for the ride. See you on the next episode.